Pencil College. In this video, we will be looking at example 3 of chapter 11.2. Okay, so given that cosine theta is equal to negative 4 fifth and that 180 degrees, uh, sorry, theta is between 180 degrees and 270 degrees, okay, we want to evaluate tangent theta and sine theta. Okay, so just take note that since cosine theta is negative, okay, we can either be in the sine or the tangent quadrant, okay, since cosine theta is negative. Okay, next. Since it is given that theta is between 180 to 270 degrees, then we can conclude that we must be in the tangent quadrant, okay, because from this point to this point, okay, it is 180 degrees, and then from here onwards, it will be 180 to 270 degrees. So therefore, we can conclude that theta is somewhere over here. Okay, so this is my theta. Okay, so let me just uh, remind everyone that this two axes over here can be looked upon as the x and the y axis, okay, on an xy Cartesian plane. Okay, so with the given values, okay, I'm going to try to evaluate tangent theta and sine theta. Okay, so recall that since that recall that cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay, so adjacent, which is this side over here, okay, over the hypotenuse. Okay, so since the adjacent, okay, since we're on the negative side of the x-axis, this has got to be a negative 4, okay? And using Pythagoras' theorem, okay, I can evaluate this side of the triangle, okay? So take note that this side of the triangle, once you use Pythagoras' theorem, is just a positive 3, okay? So let us now find tangent theta and sine theta, okay? So tangent theta should be given as the opposite over the adjacent. Okay, so sorry, let me just also highlight that this side over here should be a negative 3 because we are going downwards from the y-axis. Okay, so downwards from the, the y-axis. So tangent theta is defined as the opposite over the adjacent, okay, which is negative 3 over negative 4. Okay, or we can just write it as 3 quarters. Okay, how about sine theta? Sine theta is def defined as opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, so opposite would be, okay, with respect to the basic angle over here, okay, opposite would be negative 3 and hypotenuse would be 5. Okay, so it's just negative 3 fifths. Okay, so let me also take this chance to highlight, okay, where is our basic angle. Okay, though we are not exactly using this information in this example, but let me just highlight, okay, that our basic angle is here, okay, and we also call it alpha. Okay, so let's move on to example number four. 